Hello everyone, welcome to Cure Design. I'm Janine and in this tutorial, this is um, the neon light tutorial. I show you how to create this line effect and um, how to create the animation for that. And then there is a little sweet hack for the LUT, so you have uh, more control over the LUT or, for, or not more control, it's more like you don't see the LUT settings in the patch editor but in the material itself. So uh, enjoy this little tutorial, let's start. Okay, let's start. And we start by making sure that we see the patch editor. So go to view, show patch editor. Yeah. And we start uh, at first uh, creating the scene for, so all the layers we need for the settings. If you just want to know how to set the lines, uh, so the light line shader patch, whatever, just uh, you just need one rectangle. But if you want to know how to work with the LUT uh, in the material and so on and so on and want some ideas, just follow the whole settings. So we start with adding a rectangle and make sure this is full width and height and just command C and command D for duplicate this twice. So this is our line. This one is our photo filter. And this one is our LUT. And we need another, a new ca canvas. You can go to right click and add canvas. This is our overlay canva. And in this canva we also add a new rectangle. Rectangle later. Yeah, hello. Make sure it's full width and height. And this is our paper. Then just create for these here materials with the same name and make sure that this material are flat um, at the beginning. So material line, make sure this is flat and then duplicate this four times. One, two, three, four. So this one is line. And make sure every single layer or rectangle has the right material. We just make sure that we don't don't see these two, that the visibility off and also the overlay. We start with our line. We need for our assets the device. Just go and drag and drop this in your patch editor. And we need the camera texture. Texture extraction, camera texture up here. Now go to your asset library right here. You can search for Sobo. And this is the Sobo filter. Or you go to patch editor and shader. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, shader patch assets shader and there you find the Sobo filter and you see the settings right here you need the camera texture the device and the settings right here the Sobo filter the swizzle and uh, add this to the material so just make sure you import this so to now you see the patch right here in your assets and make sure that you link the texture right here. We need the divide patch and link it to our screen size and screen scale and add it to our texture size. The swizzle. And the swizzle you saw before was in RGB and one, but in this case, yeah, we tested later with the other settings but in this case, we just need the X value. Go to the swizzle right here, add it to your line texture. So um, create an output, texture output, and 
link it. Now you have the lines. This is when you just go to RGB1. This is the line setting for the RGB1 and you can go to screen for example and there you find is a little bit more details in the lines but uh, if you just want to create this simple line effect you just need one X. I think that it could be possible that every single channel for RGB and the alpha channel is just smooshed to one channel. I'm not quite sure to be honest. And then it's just the color right here. For example, when I now add another color for the neon effect we want to create later, you see this is pretty simple and um, possible right now. I just go to white again and we I selected the screen uh, blend mode. You can this is the default setting but there are more details I don't want to see. So the screen could be perfect if you just work with white lines and make maybe so you have a not so a little bit more opacity or by 50%. And then the next step is to go to your rectangle and set it a little bit off. So for example, minus five and minus five. So see this little off the line and to make sure that the edges are perfect. I think this is pretty perfect, but you see it down here that it's a little bit the edges or it's a little bit cut off. You can just add the uh, for width and height by 102% for example or maybe a little bit more. Maybe 10 and minus. I don't know if I like minus. Okay, so far so good. The next step is we start with adding the animation to our line so that we work with different colors or with two different colors. Uh, we work with an animation loop, mirror this for um, the transition between two different colors and set this to our line material. So we start with loop animation. Uh, duration by one is I think fine we add transition uh, for this transition for us so it's a little bit easier not number we uh, add the color so go to process just create some very fancy typical neon um, start and end color uh, green and Magenta, I think they are pretty good. And then the next step is we need to make sure that we add this values. We can't directly link it right here. Or well, yeah, we can link it, but we need this swirl up here too. And I'm not quite sure if it, that is possible, but I go to mix and my swizzle or my lines are the alpha channel. Okay, and I want to um, attach the transfer this colors to the alpha channel. So right here, and that is possible because I thought I need to unpack this all, but it's not necessary. So it's really working. It's pretty simple, and that's how you create this uh, fancy lines. And if you want to, you can work with the curve. I just. Add, for example, to make it a little bit more fancy, a little bit more like neon light from a billboard or something like that. Work with, for example, the elastic. So it's a little, little bit more fancy, interesting. Of course, you can change the duration. So it's... Or, uh, so this is pretty... And of course, uh, what I recommend is to mirror. For example so it's from red to green from green to red and so on it's like a ping-pong animation 
and go crazy with these settings. Maybe bounce again. Bounce. Ooh. No, I thought I found something more interesting. Hmm. Overshoot? Over overshoot. <laughs> ah, maybe just go to one again and It's my boop, 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 boop. But of course, stop with a mirror. Now it's ding dong. Okay, and next step is to make it a little bit more crisp so we see more of these lines. Um, we want to make sure that we add the right setting to it. We work with the LUT filter and the photo filter. I just ma make sure that I see, see the LUT. So this is what I have right now. And now we work with, uh, in this case, just go to your library, to color LUT. And I think I want to use show all. You can, of course, create your own LUT. I just want to use, mm, I'm not quite sure, maybe Sierra. Okay. Now I see the Sierra, but I don't see the patch. When I drag and drop Sierra right here, then you see the LUT patch. Now I can just add this texture and then the texture right here, blah, blah, blah. But what I want to show you is, so you, have, you don't need another patch in your patch editor. We can also go to your LUT, your LUT material, go to shader type, a shader asset color lot shader and then you can on the on a texture texture camera texture and color lot zero and now we see the color lot but it's looks very fancy but it's not this uh, that I don't want to see this I want to make sure this um, lot I uh, this lot right here is a line and we need to make sure that the default setting is by 8x8 eight by eight for the uh, typical LUT you create. But in this case, I want to make set the setting grid to 32 to 1. And now you see the LUT. And this is pretty nice. So you have everything in your material. Next step is to make a little bit, have a little bit more control about the depth. I want to just darken it a little bit. So go to your photo filter, material, and go from flat to blended, uh, the type to color, uh, oh, and make sure that your rectangle is visibility on, of course. And then you can, for example, go to multiply, just maybe uh, blue and so I have a little bit more control of course you can also go to just black to make dark it a little bit and again this is a normal and this is multiply I think there's not really a difference but this is a very nice option to get a little bit more of uh, this like a photo filter over the lens or the light setting. And I just neutral blue. And you don't need this, of course. You can work with it or leave it. Just a nice option. And the last step is, of course, our overlay. If you want to um, see, I also recommend this tutorial up here about the Y2K um, tutorial where, where I work with the overlay as well and of course with uh, the person segmentation. So go to overlay, go to your paper, paper material, make sure that the shader type is flat, add a texture to it, new texture, and in my case it's this one right here. Bloop. And make sure that the add the screen and that's it. That is the whole tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Just 
No, not replace. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it's a little inspiration to create more fancy uh, neon outline effects and yeah. And yes, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Share it with everyone Bye. who wants to know this. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. And we see us next time. Bye bye.